guys, welcome to today's mini upper flow class. Um, let's go ahead and grab your mat and get started. I am playing around a little bit with um, my audio with a new mic, so hopefully you guys can hear me. All right, we will come to the top of the mat and mountain pose, Tadasana. Just take a moment here to root into your mat with all four corners of the feet. Staying nice and elongated with the spine, lifting with the chest and the shoulder, lifting with the chest and the crown of the head, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. Gently tuck the tailbone, keeping the core engaged, quadricep muscles are engaged with a slight external rotation. Closing the eyes here for a moment to just Take some deep breaths and notice if you feel yourself favoring one leg or the other. Do you feel balanced? Do you feel like you're in control of your heels? Or for me personally today, I think I'm favoring shifting my weight over to the right. Something to be aware of without judgment, just simply noticing. One more nice deep grounding breath here. On your next inhale, gently sweeping the arms up overhead, fingers spread wide. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, flat back. And exhale, release the hands to the mat, taking the feet back into plank position, shifting forward onto the toes before lowering for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take some time here. It's the first one of the day. Pedal the feet if you want to. Maybe inhale, coming up onto the ball of the feet, and then exhale. One heel down this time. Take some deep breaths here. Inhaling back up. And exhaling down on the other side. Inhale, back up. And exhale, release the flow of the feet. Very good. Look between the hands, walking the step, walking the feet forward into our forward fold. And just allow yourself to hang heavy here for a moment. Releasing the head, giving the neck a break, allowing the top of the head to come down towards the mat. Find some stillness here. Deep inhales as you inhale, sending that breath into the back of the leg. Exhale, taking a little deep breath into your forward fold. On your next inhale, let's sweep the arms up overhead. And exhale, release. All right, let's do that again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, step the feet back. Chaturanga. Take your flow and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Exhaling for Chaturanga, inhaling into upward dog, and exhaling for downward dog. Let's stay here for five breaths. Nice deep inhales, nostril to navel, navel to nostril. Fingers spread wide, releasing the shoulder blades down the back away from the ears, allowing the head to hang heavy, reaching the hips up towards the ceiling, reaching the heels down towards the mat, keeping the core engaged. And breathing. On our next inhale, look between the hands, walk the step or float the feet. Forward into your half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms up overhead. Dangling my phone. <laughs> and exhale, release. All right, now let's go 
video this and your microphone had it some point. Neat. Okay. Can you see that? Perfect. Okay. Inhale, arms up, hips back, coming into our chair pose. Take your foot, kick down, make sure you can still see your toes. And gently tuck in the tailbone here. One more breath, keeping the core engaged. Relax the shoulders down. One more inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, stepping the feet back. Take your flow. We'll meet back in our downward facing dog. From here, let's go ahead and lift that right leg up all the way to the ceiling. Go for height here. And then bending the knees, stack the hips. On the next inhale, straightening back in through that right leg. And then exhale, bringing the knee to the nose. Inhaling it back up. Exhale, bringing it to the outside of the right elbow. Inhale, the legs back. And exhale, bringing it across the body. The left elbow. Inhaling it back up and then exhale, release it back to the mat. Other side now, inhaling left leg up. Pausing here for a moment, taking a breath. And then bending the knees, stacking the hips. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, bringing the knee to the nose. Inhaling it back up. And exhale, bringing it to the outside of the left elbow. Inhaling it back up. And exhale, other side. Inhale, back up. And exhale, release. All right, inhale, right foot step forward, warrior one. Coming down into your warrior one, square the hips, relax the shoulders down, away from the ears. Bending in through that front knee, keeping it at a 90 degree angle. Engage the core. Take an inhale here, lengthen in the spine. Exhale, open up to the side, warrior two. Nice deep breaths here. One more inhale, and as we exhale, coming down into extending side angle. Sorry, I'm facing away from you on this one. I will be facing you next time. One more inhale here, and as you exhale, cartwheel the arms down to the mat, stepping the foot back, and take your flow. Now, flows are optional, so if you want to skip it, you feel like you need a little bit of a break, you can just come straight into your downward facing dog. That's okay. And then on our next inhale, left foot steps forward, warrior one, left side. While you're here with the left foot forward, try to energetically press the right hip forward and the left hip back, squaring the hips to the front while keeping this back leg totally engaged. One more breath, inhale. And then exhale, open it up to the side, warrior two. Widening the stance here if you need to a little bit. So to keep this front leg from collapsing forward, keep this back hip from wanting to move forward as well. So staying nice and open through the front of the body. One more inhale here. And then exhale, side angle. Now if it's in your practice, release the hand down to the mat or come into a full bind. That's okay too. Or you can just leave your forearm on the thigh. One more inhale here. And then exhale, releasing the hands to the mat, stepping the left foot back. Take your flow. Couple breaths here. Go ahead and look between the hands. Walk, step, or tilt the feet forward into your half leg. Exhale, fold it forward. 
Inhale, arms sweep up overhead. And exhale, release. Bring the hands back to heart center. Stepping the right foot back, turning it over to the side. When your arms come out, you want your ankles to be just about underneath of your wrists. And then from here, we're going to turn the right toes towards the back of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, coming over into the triangle pose. Pressing the hips forward, bringing the shoulders back, keeping the shoulders and the hips in one plane. So not bringing the shoulders forward like this and not collapsing the shoulders forward like this. Staying open and then pressing back. Just really feel this through the left hip rising up. One more inhale here. And then exhale, pressing back up to center, turning the right toes towards the side of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, coming down into your wide legged forward fold. Option here. You can either leave the hands down on the mat, fingertips in line with the toes, or grab the outside of the ankles, or if you want to stretch into the shoulders, interlacing the fingers behind the back. Couple breaths here. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, releasing the hands down to the mat, gently coming back up to standing. This time, turning the left toes towards the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, shifting down into your triangle pose. You want to create space here in the side body, space with the shoulders, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. One more inhale here. And then exhale, cartwheel the arms down to the mat, stepping the left foot back. Go ahead and take your plank. We'll meet back and down our facing dog. On your next inhale, right foot steps forward, warrior one, right side. Take a moment to work on your alignment, adjusting as needed. Inhale, lengthen in the spine. Exhale, releasing the left hand down to the mat. Right hand comes high for extent revolve. Exciting. Sorry. Hmm. One more breath here. Try to keep that back heel down on the mat. And then exhale back into warrior one. Inhale, straightening into the front leg. Exhale, hinge at the hip, coming down into triangle pose. Taking a couple breaths here. And then gently lifting with the chest, leaving the left hand down where it is, bringing the right hand up for a ball triangle. One more breath here. Inhale. And then exhale, cart little arms down to the mat. Stepping the foot back. Take your flow. Pausing here for a breath. Inhale, left foot steps forward, warrior one. Inhale, lengthen in the spine, and as you exhale, releasing your right hand down to the mat, forward ball, side angle. Try to press the left hip back. Inhale here, exhale, warrior one. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Really focusing on the breath, experiencing the breath with our movement. On your next inhale, start to gently lift the chest, leaving the right hand down, left hand coming up for a ball triangle. One more inhale here. Exhale, cart with the arms down to the mat, stepping the foot back, and take your flow. This time, what I want you to do, okay, we'll meet in downward facing dog, and then shift the weight forward into your plank position. Holding plank for a moment, 
bringing the left hand in towards center, turning over to the right leg on some side side plank. Now, if you want to leave both of the feet down, that's fine. You want to stay with your balance here, maybe coming into a tree or just lifting your leg, finding some sort of variation to challenge yourself, and then coming back into plank. One more breath here. Bringing that right arm in, turning it over to the left. Again, challenge yourself if you want. Back into plank. And then back into downward dog. Take a deep breath here. On the next inhale, right foot steps forward, dropping the left knee down, coming into a low lunge. Take a breath here. And then heel toeing the right foot out to the right edge of the mat, allowing yourself to come down onto the forearms in position. Breathing deep here, sending out breath into the right hip, allowing yourself to find relaxation in the posture. On your next inhale, gently lifting up with the chest. Hug in the back toes, bringing that right foot back. Let's drop the knees, lifting with the chest, preparing for camel pose. So knees are hip distance. Toes can either be in line with the knees, or you can bring them together to make a tripod. We're going to bring our hands to our lower back, fingers facing the floor. Inhale, engage the core, squeezing the elbows and the shoulder blades together. Exhale, pressing the hips forward, reaching up and back with the chest. And then if you want to release the hands, your ankles, you can make sure that you're still pressing forward through the hip. One more breath here. And then when you're ready to come out of it, tuck the chin to the chest, one hand at a time, back to the lower back as we come back up. Let's take a moment here to bring the knees wide and take the hips back into our child's pose. Just powdering that lower back bend. Showing a little bit of love to the lower back. And then when you're ready, lifting with the chest, walking the hands back in slightly, coming towards the tabletop, tucking the toe, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot's going to step forward, dropping the right knee down to the mat, low lunge. I've also included a playlist. If you want to listen to my Vinyasa Flow playlist on Spotify, I've um, added it to the live feed. Let's go ahead and bring the hand to the inside of the left foot, walking that foot out to the left edge of the mat, and then bringing yourself down onto the floor if that's available to you. If you have blocks, you can also uh, put the blocks under the forearms to give yourself a little bit more comfort without having to come down to the low into the pose. And a deep breath. And then gently lifting up with the chest, coming back onto the hand, tucking the right toes, lifting that back leg. We're going to step the left foot back, and this time bringing the knees down to the mat, together, coming into a passive child pose. So sitting back, knees and feet together, arms coming down to the side, palms facing up. Nice deep breath here. Sending your breath into the lower back, feeling the space around the sacrum expand as you inhale. As you exhale, allow the breath to move out through the front of the chest as you exhale. And 
the next inhale, let's go ahead and bring the ribs to chest. Working our way onto our stomach. We're going to come into bow pose. So bring the forehead to the mat. Go ahead and bend the knees. Bringing the hands to the outsides of the feet. On our next inhale, engage the core. Lift up with the chest and the legs, taking the feet into the hands. Nice deep breaths here. This is an easy pose to hold your breath in, so make sure you're breathing. One more inhale, and then exhale, release. If you want, maybe leaving the knees bent, and your leg go to squeeze back and forth. Lastly, just going to go ahead and do that one more time. So keeping the knees bent here, grabbing the outsides of the feet. On your next inhale, engage the core, lifting up. One more inhale. And then exhale, release. Coming back down to the mat, just for a brief second, we're actually going to work our way onto our back. Rolling down onto the mat, bringing the knees into the chest, giving a nice, good squeeze down through the neck, lower back, and we're just going to go. Maybe massage in the back on the ground. Rocking side to side, front to back, finding what feels good here. Hmm. When you're ready, let's go ahead and bring the feet to the mat. We're going to take the left right side, right foot, across the left thigh, interlacing the hands behind the left thigh, reaching through the leg, pointing in towards the center of the chest, sliding here, getting a nice stretch through the right hip. Somebody's tablet is talking to me. One more breath here. And release the left foot back down to the mat. Let's bring the left foot out to the left edge of the mat. And then allow the knees to fall over to the right. So we're coming into a little twist here in the lower spine. Arms are going to come out to the side. And you can turn your head over the left arm. So make sure while you're here, this is a running class that I usually tend to lead people on. Our left foot walks all the way to the left edge of the mat. And then the knees fall to the right. So... Grip, twisting it up here, turning the head over the left arm. It's a very subtle lower back twist. Take a nice stretch, and then let's inhale the feet back up. Walking that left foot back in line, roots to the hip. Release the right foot from across the left thigh. Take a moment here to allow the knees to windshield wiper back and forth. And then let's go ahead and bring that left foot across the right thigh this time. Placing the hands in between the legs and erasing the fingers behind the right thigh. Gently pulling in towards the center of the chest. Getting a nice stretch in through this left hip and the two spines keeping pose. If you want to intensify this stretch, you can interlace the fingers around the front of the shin. Really pull in towards center here if you want to get a good stretch through the hamstrings while you're here. You can straighten this leg if you need it. So, grab your preferences. And then releasing the right foot down to the mat, arms coming out to the side here. Heel toe the right foot all the way out to the right edge of the mat. And then gently allowing the knees to fall over to the left, turning the head over the right. Taking some deep breaths here. Allowing yourself to feel relaxed. One more breath. And then lifting the knees back up, walking the foot back in line with the hips. Let's take a second to hug the knees back into the chest one more time. 
again, if you want to find some movies here, my personal favorite is Sir Blaney, Stars, and the Will of Back on the Ground. And then we can bring in these flies, driving me out the side of the defeat. Of course, we can use Big Toe with your peace sign fingers and then make you a happy baby. Make you rock with your happy baby. Rock where your feet. Stay in stillness and begin our stretch. And then let's go ahead and bring the legs up to center, bringing the hands down to the sides, palms facing up. Slowly, slowly as you can, engaging your core, bringing the legs down. Slow, 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 slow. Come to control. And then allowing feet to come apart to each corner of the mat, gently falling out to the side, coming into your Shavasana, closing the eyes. Relax through the face, softening the space around the eyes and the eyebrows. Release the tongue from the roots of the mouth, and clenching the jaw. I encourage you to stay in the Shavasana as long as you want, for as long as you can. This is where I'm going to sign off with you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to add them to the chat. I will log off a video, but I will stay on chat with you all the time for the next 10 minutes or so. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been my honor to guide you through your practice. Namaste.